Hi guys, uh, this is me from the future. Uh, so I have already started uh, the sale on DX sale. Uh, the link uh, you find in uh, the description down below. So all the information in uh, this video is up uh, up to date, except for the tokenomics section. So I will be updated, and uh, me from the future will see you again in the tokenomics section. Bye for now. Hi guys, today I would like to announce my new project, it's called The Game Forest. I have been developing it uh, for several years, but uh, I have decided uh, to change the course of development and make it a blockchain based project. So let me introduce it to you. The new blockchain based uh, version of The Game Forest is unique because it gives ownership back to the players uh, so if you have a physical game you own it you can give it to a friend you can exchange it with a friend you can resell it but if you bought a digital game uh, from steam or any other digital store you can't really do those thing things so you don't really own it so uh, the game forest, uh, uh, which is under development now, uh, will solve this problem by making the games as NFTs that you can own and you can send to a friend for free without transaction fees or except of, of course of uh, uh, a small uh, gas fee. There would be a small fee if you resell the game, uh, but it's way better than uh, digital games that you buy from digital stores because you can't really resell it. So this is uh, the website. Uh, so it introduces the project, and uh, I already have a uh, few partnerships with the uh, indie game developers and with uh, Japanese manga uh, artists. I have already partnered with uh, IQ Soup. I've worked uh, with IQ Soup in the development of this game, Age of Grit, and uh, th they are interested on in selling uh, a special version of their game on uh, the Game Forest platform when it uh, becomes live. One die trying. The West is home to some rough ports. And I reckon for folks where fighting words are the language of choice it's a land shaped by mighty heroes folks known forever as legends of the age of grit uh, there are a few games that uh, I am uh, still developing and uh, when uh, the development uh, is done, I will sell it on the Game Forest platform. Uh, we already have bartend with uh, several uh, Japanese manga uh, artists and they are interested in selling their manga on our platform. This is me from the future again. So a quick update to the tokenomics section. Uh, I have made the things a lot easier and a lot simpler. So I have, uh, I have gotten rid of the custom ISO contract. I have gotten rid of the vesting schedule, so uh, the sale is now on DX sale, and once the sale is finalized, uh, you will be able to start trading on Pancake Swap immediately. The, I have changed the use case for the token. Before it was a passive income from NFT sales, but that has proven to be very 
difficult, very inefficient, and not sustainable. So the rest of the income would be it is two percent, two percent of the transaction fees would be passive income to the holders, and the three percent would go to the liquidity. Uh, and uh, the company already holds about 27% of the tokens now. Um, the rest would uh, is in the uh, same. Uh, and we have uh, very interesting use cases for the token right now. So uh, we will give uh, the holders a vote on which games to promote on the homepage. Of course, not all the homepage promotion slots. Uh, would be uh, available for uh, voting on but uh, some of them will be and the final say will all be to the team but uh, we'll, uh, the, vo uh, the voting results will have a heavy influence on the team to choose uh, some uh, of the promoted games on the source uh, so as you see this is this is its team and it has a lot of promotional slots on uh, the home page so we plan to do something similar, but uh, the holders community will have a vote on which games to promote. This is one use case. Another use case would be if the team had application from several uh, games and uh, we are hesitating to uh, uh, put that again on uh, the game forces uh, uh, store or not. We uh, will. Uh, uh, have a vote uh, to see if uh, the holders community want this game to be sold on the platform uh, on the store or not and uh, of course the team will have the final say but uh, this voting uh, will give a lot of power to the holders uh, to promote their favorite games uh, and uh, push it uh, push its sales uh, we would also think of other uh, token use cases and uh, we are open to suggestions in that regard. Uh, I was actually developing it as a normal digital store. So a lot will change of, of course because now the new version will be based on blockchain. So please keep in mind that what you will see now is, is just uh, in development version and it is the old version so everything will change to better. So uh, the old version of the platform which was still under development. Um, okay we had uh, some man Japanese manga like this one uh, and uh, there is a free bar and about it that goes to some points, but of course it wasn't uh, accurate to coin or anything like that. Uh, you could uh, uh, play online games. This was a test game. I just put it in to test to the platform. So that's the idea behind the uh, Dragon Forest. Uh, of course it will change. So the new version uh, that uh, we will develop after uh, the pre-sale uh, will be very different, of course. The main difference is that uh, transactions will take place on the blockchain and the ownership of the game will be uh, on the blockchain as an NFT and not on the database of some company that might close at, at any moment. Uh, so the products uh, of course, we'll have the web store. It will be much cleaner than uh, it, uh, it is right now. Uh, and the library uh, of uh, the games and the Japanese manga that you own, that you have purchased from the platform. Uh, we, we want uh, the game force to, uh, uh, to function as a app where you can log in with your wallet. But we'll also add uh, a feature where the users can create use, uh, a user and uh, log in using a normal username and password. And in that case, we will have uh, custody of uh, their uh, private key. Uh, we don't really recommend it, but uh, we have to do that because uh, some players who, uh, or some gamers 
uh, will not be familiar with uh, the blockchain thing and uh, we want uh, to, those customers to come to our platform so to allow for uh, massive adoption uh, we want uh, to have both both options uh, of course we will have a developer portal so that uh, uh, developers can uh, mint their own NFT will also help uh, developers who are not familiar with blockchain and NFT to um, migrate the, the game to work with uh, our store uh, we will have a mobile wallet uh, store viewer and player so uh, the mobile wallet application uh, uh, will be used after the development to buy uh, the games whether they are html5 games that can be played inside the wallet or inside the browser of the wallet or from uh, desktop uh, uh, from the desktop client or from the browser he can also uh, a player can also uh, view the uh, japanese manga that he bought on the mobile wallet so uh, the mobile wallet will be a key application to our uh, ecosystem uh, and it would mainly be used for html5 games and japanese manga so uh, those are the main products that we would sell on the platform with bc games which would be play downloadable and playable from the desktop client that we will introduce later and html5 games which will work on the browser and on the mobile wallet and on the desktop client and japanese manga which will work on the desktop client or the browser or the mobile wallet uh, the desktop uh, game client will be like steam where you will uh, it would be mainly be used to purchase games and to download and play uh, the, the PC games that you have bought. We will also eventually uh, have some exclusive titles for our platform uh, and we will limit the quantity of NFTs for uh, these uh, titles. Um, hopefully within a year we will develop our first exclusive title for the platform. Until now, we have uh, sub supported Arabic, English, and Japanese, and we intend uh, for the new platform to also include Turkish language. Uh, please uh, visit the website, subscribe to the newsletter, and join the, the Telegram and Discord channel. So, that's it for this video. I hope you like uh, the game for project. Thank you very much.